Okay, I'm back. I think for one more uh, session. <laughs> um, I've just been reading so many things that I I have to get them out to you before my thoughts disappear. Um, so I have um, reading Oprah magazine, and there are just a couple of things that I just thought were very appropriate for where I am in my life. So I thought I would share this with you. And there are um, quotes. And then one is with something that uh, a famous person said. So let me start off. And here's the quote. Talking about how coincidences happen. A German theologian once said that any number of things can serve as a window to God, to what he called the ultimate. Humans, of course, tend to be pain worshipers. We just stare at the window instead of the view. But anything that lets you look beyond the window to the divine, a kind act, a surprise, a coincidence, is a way of communicating with something bigger than we are. This is from Kate Baestrup, author of Beginner's Grace. And I thought about that. Am I a window worshiper? Do I stand at the pane of a window and just look from that view? I don't know. It, it just spoke to me because it's like, I need, I need to get out from behind that window, that huge window. I need to get out and get into the real view. Because I think one of the dangers of pain worshiping or window worshiping is that we see our reflection a lot. And I think we get stuck in our reflection and we start seeing things from our reflection. So I, I really appreciate that quote. It's very timely for me. Another one. Every instance since the beginning of time has been a coincidence. A leaf in a tree embodies the combined efforts of the earth, water, wind, stars, and sunshine. When you realize that everything has led to the present, to this moment, you see there's nothing to be afraid of, nothing to be burdened by. The present moment is the moment of arrival, and it took the entire universe to create it. All is as it should be. Right now, this moment, I am doing this recording, reading this, this, and this is by Deepak Chopra. The universe has conspired for this to happen. Isn't that amazing and powerful? Doesn't that say a lot for every moment that you are alive? And I think about that because sometimes I feel burdened by life. I've lost my joy. But if I think about it, that this moment is divine. Wow, it changes the whole perspective. And then one last thing. Um, there was this fashion designer who was very popular, I think in the late 70s and early's. Her name is, uh, late 70s, early 80s. Her name is Diane von Furstenberg. And she's the one who made the, the wrap dress. And you know, Oprah's interviewing her and Oprah always asks the last question, excuse me, which is what are you the most proudest of? So um, Ms. von Furstenberg, you know, said her children. However, she says, and the greatest relationship I have with me, that is my biggest source of pleasure. I trust myself. I respect myself. I know I am a good girl. I know I can rely on myself. I like my own company. I'm funny. I talk to myself and have a good time. That is the thing that she's proudest of. Wow, I would like to get to that point in my life. I hope these quotes um, have inspired you to live every moment, to notice the coincidences, and just to be thankful for who you are. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.